Hey y'all, this is Michael Harrington with Network Funding in Katy, Texas. Today I wanted to discuss the whole rent versus buy aspect. In Time Magazine front page cover, it describes renting as the optimal way to go and home ownership as the devil. I find that hysterical to believe considering the state of Texas, when you rent a place, there's a property code book, a Bible thick that protects the owner and not the renter. Now let's analyze the difference in rent versus buy if you were to, let's say, lose your job like 10% of America has recently. On day one of being late, you're immediately charged a late fee, and on day three, can be evicted. Sometimes on day five, you can find that a sheriff's at your door asking you to get your belongings and leave immediately. You see, landlords are not there to be understanding. They're there to collect rent. They're not looking to work things out, but rather get you out and get someone else in. Now, in home ownership, banks want you to stay in the home and are willing to do just about anything to get you to stay and not end up with another foreclosure on their hands. You see, on day one of being late, you get no late fees, no messages from the bank, and on day three through 15, you're still fine. No late fees. Now, after day 15, you'll be assessed a small late fee. It's about 4 to 5% of your payment, and by maybe the end of the month, receiving a nice phone call from the bank asking if there's anything wrong, is there anything they, they can do. <clears throat> they will offer modification of the note if you're more than a couple months late, or even give you a one-month reprieve added to the end of the note, or broken up over the next 12 months to get you back on track. One thing is for sure, they want you to stay. Worst case scenario, you're there for three months before the foreclosure process begins, and usually it takes a full five months for that process to take place. So I ask you, where do you feel safer in a job market like today? <clears throat> a place where on day five you're being escorted out by a cop, or month five where you've had time to possibly get a new job, get family to help out, or just get back on track to keep your home. Even right now, they've stopped almost the entire process of foreclosures. If you really look at the news, just about every servicer can't foreclose on your home until they work it out with the courts and make sure that the documentation is done properly and someone has reviewed those documents prior to actually issuing the foreclosure. So I ask you again, which do you feel safer in, renting or buying?